I have been a kindergarten teacher for 10 years. I left because I was pregnant with my wife and I's second child. We did the math on it and it made sense for me to quit for the cost of daycare, especially for infants, it's so expensive. So it really didn't make sense for me to be working. I didn't wanna put my career on hold. I was very passionate about the school I was at. I had just gotten my master's degree while I was pregnant with my daughter, so I definitely didn't want to stop. I was glad to be with my children because I love them, obviously, but to be forced into that position because mine was less lucrative was frustrating. My uh, ex-wife now and I um, amicably split and we share dual custody of our children. We have 50-50 and I knew that I needed to go back to my career. When I got back, however, they told me that they had to start me at an, about $10,000 lower. And not only was I teaching, I was teaching from home. Setting up my classroom at my house for the pandemic, I asked friends to donate things. And that's, that's the sad part, right? Is like, we have to beg, borrow, and steal as teachers. Yeah, so this is the space that I had to go when the pandemic hit. This is where I taught. I taught from this chair in my basement, in the classroom, that was this empty room. And I had to furnish it myself so it didn't look so sad to the kids. And I put up our posters and I put up boards from school. And then I had to get another monitor. So I was able to get one off of Facebook from an old high school friend. And for me, as a single woman, if I did not have my ex-wife paying for the amount she does of daycare, I wouldn't be able to be a teacher. There's no way. And that's not okay. I have my master's degree. I'm 36. I can't afford to put my kids in daycare by myself and pay my mortgage. And I live frugally. I went to food banks during the pandemic. And I'm not ashamed of it. I think that people should know that I went to food banks during the pandemic because we make that little.